and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is part two, where last time we were revived through the Lazarus Project and met the Elusive Man and uh, went on to Freedom's Progress, which was a very, uh, very interesting place to, to go. Reunited with Tali after two years, you know, in a coma. It's nice to at least meet one of our friends, uh, but we have been told by the Elusive Man all of our old companions are elsewhere. They're all up and about doing their own thing. They've moved on in their lives, but uh, we're going to proceed with the game now. Had a great first episode uh, getting brought back into the Mass Effect universe, and I'm excited to see um, what will be occurring after this. So let's push forward and see what happens. It's our lovely introduction back to the Normandy because we got the Normandy back, baby! Except it's all weirdly Cerberus aesthetic on the outside with the, like, the yellow. I hate that we're wearing a Cerberus uniform too. I don't know how to feel about it, dude. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. This is my ship! Don't tell me what to do! And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? Ooh. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Edie? Okay. There's an, there's an AI. Yeah, AIs are dangerous. This is a, this is an interesting development. Classic Cerberus. Okay. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Back at the galaxy map. So, we have, um... Private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so Jacob has replaced Caden and what's her face? What's her name? That lady. <laughs> God, why did I just forget her name instantly? Miranda. Miranda? Um, has replaced Ashley as out as my human companions. Check out all these places! We gotta check this, check out our ship, baby. This is great. Alright, so New Normandy. Where we actually get like a status of the ship right here, and then the galaxy map is a little bit smaller this time. Oh, it's currently currently turned. Oh, that's oh that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No! Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. 
Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Um, Kelly, you didn't say Volus? That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. This organization oh, it did it did the thing again where it moves the technology save it moves the options. How do you feel about being assigned to the Norman? So weird when that does that. Handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. But yeah, it's, it's interesting when you get, like, investigate, you've got three options. You go, cool, one, two, three, and you got to pick the third option, and then it shifts and change. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Fuck. <laughs> are we, are we, are we, are we flirting with Kelly Chambers already? Not okay. It's, I just met you. Let's let's keep it professional, please. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nah, we're good. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. So we, I've got a whole crew filled with people who really respect me. In a way that probably makes them want to date me. Shepard's private terminal. Team status. Whoa! Oh, this is cool. Okay. Dude! There's so many more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Twelve. It's twelve. You miscounted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Twelve! I was wondering why it would be odd numbered All right that's a step up so we've already got Miranda and Jacob loyalty normal okay that's good to know let's have a look at these so we've got the the dossier so the warlord Dr. Okia millennia of combat and strategic experience rumored familiarity with collector technology a brilliant brutal Krogan warlord and Krogan rebellions veteran Okir is obsessed with saving the Krogan from the Genophage. It appears he contracted the Collectors, contacted the Collectors, to gain the necessary technology. Currently at a Blue Suns camp on Corlys, his relationship with the mercenaries is unknown. Okay. Dossier. The Convict. Jack. No last name known. Exceptional biotic ability. Criminal background. Currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic. Little else is known, but the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the subject's release. Dossier, the master thief. Kazumi, sabotage, infiltration, extraction, property acquisition, stealth, agile com combat. This subject has stolen extremely valuable resources from Cerberus in the past. Alarm systems, DNA encoders, guards, and various other deterrents were bypassed, and we don't know how. She was last seen on the Citadel. Going back to the Citadel, baby. Kasumi. 
Interesting. Archangel, small unit tactical expertise, omni tool expert, and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found here. I need to say Omega, and the reason why I'm saying Omega is because I've been watching The Bad Batch and we've got fucking I'm Omega, <laughs> the New Zealand accent. <laughs> So I'm, I'm reading that going, Omega. So forgive me. The Professor, Dr. Morden Solus, which is apparently who we've been, um, it's, they're requesting that we go for this guy first. This is the recommendation. Biological weapons expert, light weapons training with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Dr. Morden Solus is a Salarian biological weapons expert whose technology, whose technology may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He is currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Omega. And the last one, the veteran, Zaid Masami, combat survival uh, tactics and protection. Zaid has stopped taking work recently, but he was last seen on Omega. How many times am I going to pronounce it differently by reading it? Who knows? His reputation as the premier bounty hunter in the galaxy has caught up with him and he is rumored to spend his days drinking and shooting would-be rivals. There is none better in a fight. Dude, bounty hunter. Yes. Hell yeah. And there are four others. But there was more than... Oh, man. But does that mean we can't get out? Because... The dossiers are telling us, here's all these people. And who was who's left alive that was in our original team? It was Caden, Liara, Garrus, Rex, um, and Tali. Because we had six companions, right? But there's only four things there that are greyed out. I don't think we're getting I don't think we're getting the, the squad back together. I don't think we're getting the band back together. These four could be other random people, or they could hopefully be other people. One one of them can probably be assumed uh to be Garrus at least, because people spoiled that we can romance him. And I don't know, maybe Liara as well. Does that mean we're only going to have, end up, like, checking in with only a That's interesting, that we might not be able to have everyone come back. Interesting. Upgrades. Improve your squad member's power, your weapon, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to go from the bottom to the top because I'm going to assume that it comes from I'm going to assume that it will be like oldest first Stanwick Dobbs, Banking Agent Ascension Financial Services, Earth Hello Commander Shepard, thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation Your status has been changed from deceased to alive After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto from The Elusive Man, Shepard. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the Master Faith, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable to your mission. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password, silence is golden, to begin the rendezvous. This is going to be interesting, going back to the Citadel, and then we'll have a chat with the council at Anderson, who we appointed, and be like, oh, what's up? I'm back. That's going to be... that. Like, the, the amount of possibilities this opens up is crazy. Um, I'll mark that as red. Okay, so it disappears when we mark it as red. What I might do is it looks like... These are all of the tasks, right? Oh, maybe not. Oh, actually, no, it's not. 
I was wondering if this would be all of the dossiers, but it says we recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic particle, uh, synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know how, we know it works. Now we want to see uh, what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. All right, so we can actually get an arc projector from the armory. That's nice. One of our cells went off the grid without explanation. It looks like these are these could be like side quests. It occurs to our armor technicians you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microphone functions you might like. The hood is in your quarters. Cool. Normandy crash site. Our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see, the final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument uh, to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. That's from Admiral Hackett as well. Interesting. Um, I'll keep that open just so I can remember. We'll keep these... Um, in our new messages. Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team is field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert O'Loy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. Okay. Deal struck with Zaid. From the elusive man. Shepard, we reached an agreement with the veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Uh, Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown uh, military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Message from Anderson. From Counselor Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Nice. I will keep those. I guess, the, yeah, those go to archived messages. Lovely. Okay. Good old, good old private computer. Um, and we've got... Cerberus Project, Overlord, Planet Eight. Secondary codex entries are ones that I'm not going to read out loud. The same thing with the first Mass Effect playthrough, because they're long, and I have a voice to, to think about, and I also feel like that's when everybody will start pressing the fast forward button. Uh, but do know that I do read the secondary codex entries. Like I do, I do check them. Uh, but it's the primary entries uh, that we that we listen to, and it's better to get all of this, like put it in one chunk and get it out of the way, so we we absorb all this information. We go through all of the introductory stuff to the Normandy and the Codex, and then we're able to, to push through. Because if we ignore the Codex, which is something I didn't do in the first game, it was good. I stayed on top of everything. Uh, if you ignore it, it's just going to it's just going to overwhelm you later if you want to get through everything. So it's easier to do it this way. Living beyond the Omega-4 mass relay in the Terminus systems, the mysterious collector species is glimpsed so rarely as to be taken for a myth by most in galactic society. Looks cool. Collectors are human-sized insectoid bipeds and can resemble massive winged beetles. They are a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Collectors generate permanent stasis fields around themselves, 
creating nightmarish red-shifted energy fields. In battle, they hold position whenever possible, relying on their aggressive biotics and nearly limitless power. Several types of bipedal collectors have been identified, including minions, defenders, zealots, assassins, and artillery operators. Acting together, collectors have imprisoned entire cities in stasis. While no definite forensic accounting exists to explain the fate of those imprisoned, Leading speculation is that victims are harvested for scientific experimentation and neurobiological repurposing. Okay. Humanity and the Systems Alliance. A political economic pact for collective colonial security. The Alliance is the central galactic institution of human society. The Alliance gained associate membership to the Citadel Council in 2165 and assumed leadership in 2183 with former Alliance Captain David Anderson presiding. Many species regard humanity as a rogue race, and its 2183 victory following the attack on Eden Prime as a brutal and calculated sacrifice of its military rivals. Humans allegedly leveraged military victory into a political one, carving associate membership out of the violently depopulated council. Oops. Because of the human specter Shepard's pivotal role in saving the council, Many analysts conclude several humans will be made candidates for Spectre status, further solidifying the human contribution to galactic peace. By achieving in decades what others waited centuries to receive, especially after so bloody a conflict, humans have guaranteed themselves deep hostility and fear throughout the galaxy. Oops. Oops. Guys, we're okay. Sometimes. Not really. To be honest, though, it's not it's not too far from the truth at how <laughs> aliens and other species would view humanity. With elaborate secrecy, Cerberus labored for years to build a new, superior Normandy. Ooh, a better one. The vehicle's many alterations produced a craft nearly double the original size, requiring an even larger Tantalus drive core to compensate. The new Normandy features greater space in living quarters, research laboratory, observation deck, and cargo bay. Its shuttle can make landings the Normandy cannot attempt. In addition to tight beam communicators, Normandy's quantum entanglement communicator, QEC, provides instantaneous contact with the elusive man. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence, AI, coordinates many of the ship's combat functions, assisting and even supplanting human piloting. Potential upgrades are numerous. The airframe could support additional armor, and an axial mass accelerator. The thrusters could support recent advances in fuel technology beyond H2O2 chemical rockets. And the hull can mount double the standard number of kinetic barrier projectors, leaving space for stronger shields, easily sustainable via the new EZO drive core. Interesting. That AI section is a bit interesting. Assisting and even supplanting human piloting. And we were like chatting to her. It was like we we're like worried about the AI being a thing. Alright, more squad points. I will chuck a point into Shockwave. Um and leave it at that. Okay, so okay, so now that we've read oh, I can I can actually I can mark the emails as read then. Um that's fine. We'll mark the emails as red. That's probably easier to take, like, to keep track of. And then we get this stuff just added to our... Yeah, nice. Interesting. Okay, so we got Jack, Archangel, Dr. Okia, Dr. Morden Solus. I might, we might do that. We'll, let's do the Citadel, right? Let's go to the Citadel before collecting some, some friends. I think that is, that's the plan. We're going to check out the rest of our ship, however. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Thanks, Edie. Actually, let's check where we are. 
What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using OmniTool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Okay, you can choose the weapons loadout. Ah, oh, and here it is, the arc projector. Alright, let's chuck that on. Interesting. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. That's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This fancy pants ship. Something that the, uh... What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. I In see. addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Interesting. Okay. So the briefing and comms room. Tech lab is required to use the technical laboratory. You, it's my ship. All right. So we got restricted areas on the ship that we can't yet go to. It's good to know. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Ooh, I was going to go see him anyway, but that's fine. My god. This guy looks like Presley almost. <laughs> How dare you stand where he stood! I was gonna make a joke and then I was like, oh wait, it actually looks like him. Alright, I got another codex entry, which is a secondary one. Or the haptic adaptive interface. Advances in computing have done away with who needs keyboards, baby? We just got floating floating screens. Hang on, what was that about? Clammy hands? Hand smell? No longer has to fuss with putting on gloves or cleaning them with alcohol wipes to get rid of the clammy hand smell. Oh, good old clammy hands. Oh, this is cool. Oh, you can control the... for the bad guys? I like it when it's open. It's cooler. It's cooler that way. Suit tactics. Yes, Shepard. 
I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. <laughs> it offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. It's such a interesting design for Edie. It's not really anything. It's just a, a thing. It's just there. <laughs> Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Nice. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Excuse me? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Okay, okay. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> the elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I'll tell I you. Don't know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Uh, highly suspicious. Also, it's so weird when uh, it's like she starts like talking with like a red light when that kind of stuff comes up. I'm like, mm. even she doesn't know. I don't trust that. That's instantly suspicious. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more. Do you have about a specific you? inquiry? Oh, I already did that. That's fine. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Great. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Okay. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Mm -hmm. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay, different cells, gotcha. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Ooh, okay, okay. Building the Normandy. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Interesting. Okay, now let's talk to Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. 
That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. <laughs> Such a downer. <laughs> Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. And Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. It's got a mute. It does have a mute? If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. <laughs> like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Thanks, Seth Green. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Wild. Okay. We'll now go down the elevator. We got gotta do the grand gotta do the grand tour. Take in everything that we can. Let's go down to the elevator and see what's down there. Tech labs examined. Oh yeah. To use the technical laboratories. I'm a scientist. I'm I'm clever. Ooh, okay. Um, we're on this one. Let's go up to the. Let's go up to our personal cabin. We got we got a fucking bed. Ooh. Can I have can I have some fish? Can we add some fish in there, please? Edie, add some fish, please. Private terminal is just the same, but upstairs. That's fine. Armor locker. Sound system. Oh, Mass Effect 1 music. <laughs> nice. And then we can customize our thing. Um, so this is the recon hood that they were talking about. You know, if you don't want to be seen everywhere you go. Okay. I guess that might come in handy if we're like going out somewhere like even to like the Citadel and we're like, oh, maybe we don't want to be walking around getting recognized. We can wear the recon hood. Ah, oh, no, here you go. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these casual appearances. Excuse me. Um, dude. Look, I look like a scientist now. Can I can I enter the door? Can I enter the doorway? I got the scientist uniform on. Yo. I actually, I actually love this. Like the N7 hoodie. Instead, I like wearing something that looks like this instead of like Cerberus branded stuff. This is fancy. Are we gonna are we gonna need to like wear something like this that'll be like I don't know. That's interesting. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh take this on the road um at some point. That looks very interesting. I really thought didn't expect multiple casual appearances like this. This is awesome. 
Uh, let's just keep, yeah, let's just keep this for now, I guess. I'm fine with this. We'll wear the recon hood. Yeah, look how much better this looks. This is like casual. This is just like me comfy on my spaceship, you know what I mean? In my hoodie. That's not a data pad for me. It's Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Thanks. Medal of Honor. Ah, oh, these are the achievements. Okay. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Turn to active duty. Okay. Whoa. Ah! Oh. I've got a little fucking photo thing of Liara, because Liara was my romance choice in Mass Effect 1. That's cute. Damn, this is awesome. I got a double bed, you know what that means, guys. We fucking. We fucking. Let's have a look. Bro, everyone is shot. Ah, uh, yes. But at least I can go into the men's restroom. Hello! Shepard, Je the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. I know that! I'm just curious about how it all works. You guys stand up in here? That's super weird. Doesn't it go everywhere? Okay. Look, looks the same. They may as well just be unisex bathrooms. No urinals. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. All right. My crew that I can't talk to, but. Just getting uh, having a chat to them, that's fine. They're just living their lives. Alright, let's go around here. Medical lab. Okay, I remember this area. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Um okay, so they've replaced this part with a kitchen. How dare you stand where he stood? Presley clone number two. Okay, so apparently, for some reason, it's their idea of a sick joke to replace um, Presley upstairs and Caden downstairs with the same balding man. <laughs> Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? I'm hungry. Can I have food? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. <sighs> Why am I surprised? How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Imagine if it was our encounter with the Batarians that was actually like that, um, that instance that he was talking about. I'm pretty sure that if I did this, there was another option, I think. What Just hold do? on. What don't I? Mop, HVAC, plumbing, yes, there was. Non-mission critical electrical. 
I make so sure the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Alright, thanks, thanks, bud. Alright, you got more of these. Main battery. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. I don't like these restrictions. Don't like them. Okay, Miranda's office. So that's where we'll find Miranda. Okay. Let's check out the medical lab. <gasps> oh! Excuse me! Dr. Chakwas? Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Holy shit. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Oh, guess you, guess you survived the Normandy crash then. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. All right, I can get on board with that. That's fine. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd okay. like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. We're not going to check in and talk to her about, hey, how'd you do after the crash? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Interesting. Wild. There you go. Fine brandy. We can! At a store somewhere. Alright, it's expensive. Access to the AI core is restricted. Interesting. So the AI core is here. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Thanks. Alright. Uh, good stuff. Miranda's office. Miranda's office. Yo, what's good? Ooh. Miranda's got a double bed too. You know what that means? We fuck it. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. 
We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structure similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Okay. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Interesting. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced for a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and, well, it's pretty impressive really. Interesting. So you're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay. Interesting. Good information. Good to know. She's a genetically modified uh, perfect child. Time to go... Because these were all locked. Except for the men's restroom. Alright, now we go down to engineering. Check the last section of the ship. God damn, fast loading times, so good. Monitoring station. Another codex entry. The Systems Alliance UT-47 drop shuttle landing craft holds 12 soldiers in a cramped, uncomfortable cargo bay and two more in the cockpit. Officially named the Kodiak, the drop shuttle is better known to Alliance Marines as the combat cockroach due to its appearance and durability. The vehicle's robust environmental sealant technology exposes few vulnerable parts to the elements. First tested in the sulfuric acid clouds and extreme temperatures of Venus, the Kodiak can land in hard vacuum, high pressure, and temperatures from near absolute zero to over 900 degrees Celsius. A true contragravitic vehicle, the Kodiak's substantial element zero core allows flight by entirely countering the vehicle's mass. Its small thrusters are for directional control only. So if the mass effect field fails, the vehicle becomes a proverbial three million credit coffin. The unarmed shuttle forgoes weaponry space for active masking, electronic countermeasures, and a robust kinetic barrier system, ideal for dropping troops undetected. Three million credit coffin. Amazing. Thank you. All right, save to collecting all of that information. Edie? What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. 
My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. Cool as that. So we got a shuttle and a, and a little ground ship. Um, okay. Engineering subject still. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, okay, two doors on either side. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Shape up. I'll be nice. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Ah. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Uh, you know, Cerberus are shady, but like the more that we get this whole thing going on, the Alliance and the Council and stuff, they were always bugging me anyway with not taking us seriously, especially when we're just like, guys, shit's gonna go down. And, and then even when Sovereign is doing what Sovereign is doing, and we defeat them, they go, eh, that was it. It'll never happen again. It's like, come on. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Not bad. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Okay. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Interesting. Yeah, because like all the different cells in Cerberus are not really even aware of each other, which is very interesting. Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we are doing fine. I bet you could find them in the Omega markets if you wanted to help us out. Anything else? Carry on. Will do, Commander. All right, find some FBA couplings. We'll I'm check that as well. Shepherd came down to see us. Because I'm the best. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Thank you. Shut it down! Shut it all down! Destroy it! Crash us into a star, I don't want to be alive. I'm a walking nightmare. And that's, that's when Shepard lost her mind. Okay. Got some mood lighting downstairs. What's going on down here? Interesting. Okay. We got some stuff. We just got some leftover stuff downstairs at this current point in time. 
Interesting. All right, that's the ship explored, and we've talked to everybody. And I'm ready to I'm ready to check out the galaxy map. We're ready to go back up to the CIC. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Ooh, have I now? No, I haven't. You lied. <laughs> you lied. I already read all of them. Wait a minute. Yeah, I already read all of these. I believe you would lie to me like that, Kelly. Never flirt with me again. Galaxy map time! Ooh, okay. Holy sh- Oh, you fly around! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, that's so different. There's Omega. There's the relay. The mass relay. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. Approach the fuel depot to purchase fuel. Okay. Explore the Normandy crash site. Recruit Archangel, the Professor, and the Veteran. I like that it actually has the quests underneath them. That's really awesome. Unexplored. Erdak. Close orbiting Brown Dwarf. Ah. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Dude. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Wow. Okay, so instead of like just pressing a button to scan it and it goes light metal, heavy metal, whatever, each planet actually has, well, maybe not everyone, but I don't know that yet, but we'll see. You launch a probe when it starts doing this. Research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Now afford the Collector Chitin Armor Research Project. Do I have a limited- Oh shit, I do have a limited amount of probes. Scanner results poor, okay. We do have a limited amount of probes. So you can do multiple scans on one. So sometimes you can get one, but other times you can get multiple. That is so cool. And then the probes stay there? That's good that the probes stay there, and that, that way you actually know if you've been there and actually explored it before, and obviously the name of the planet stays. So we just did one system, the, the Sarabarak system, and then I'm assuming the Fathar, Amada, and Kyra, Kairava Mori systems, and Arun Larkin, these would be all systems that are outside, like the Patala, like there'd be different systems. Oops. Is there an option to have the ship go a little faster? I don't think so. No, we just kind of have to float. And Morkin. Obviously, I am taking this slow and just like taking everything in and getting used to everything. So please forgive me while I take everything in and, and learn, because I'm obviously not wanting to rush through anything here. Because this is amazing and all new and fascinating. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Launching probe. This is so sick. Launching probe. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Ooh, hang on. There's something good over here. Almost. Maybe that seems like it'll be like a poor result, though. Yeah. I'll leave it. 
That's awesome. Okay. Um, so just in this one system alone, we've got uh, Amiga Fuel Depot. Now these relays, right? We can enter the relays. So the Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the relays, uh, through the relay, are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the um, impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega-4 relay. The mass relay, we can plot. Ah, uh, and then it goes to the Milky Way. Hell yeah, so there we can plot a jump. So we can go to the Hourglass Nebula, Eagle, uh, Isma Frontier, Serpent Nebula. This would be the Citadel? Yeah, no, that's the local cluster. Oh, the Serpent Nebula is the Citadel. Right, where it says Citadel. Local cluster, which is already automatically 100%. And then, naturally, this is where Mass Effect 1 took place. So we're in a whole different part of the galaxy now. That's awesome. So I'm assuming it means that we can use the relay. Fuel's not a problem. But then when we are needing to like just travel outwards of the system we need to stop at the fuel the fuel place this is so good i'm wondering if this is a hundred percent because we re we visited this in mass effect one that feels correct right that feels like that'd be the case how do we get more probes because i'm gonna run out check up the probe on pluto we are definitely going to run out of probes if I keep this up. Can you even probe a gas planet? You can. Guess maybe for like E zero. Probe launched. So cool. I need to check out how to do like research and stuff at some point. Okay, so that classifies as poor when it's down there, and you're thinking like, oh yeah, that's cool. So maybe you need to get stuff that's like really kind of like up there to to make it worth it. Then you just kind of have to do a nice little scan and hope that you have something pop up that's like massive. This is so cool. This this galaxy map is so much better. This galaxy map is so much better. Ooh, that's better. Let me get that. Oh, they're still classified as poor. Jesus. Thought that was good. Never mind. These orbits are great. So, it, yeah, now you have to manually scan to get stuff. I'll, I'll get some more probes before we do this again. Okay, you can't scan every planet. There you go. We can't scan Mars. Can we scan? <laughs> Let me scan Earth. Interesting. For detailed information, please refer to the standard issue, Alliance Galactic Codex. 11.4 billion. That's a that's a good render of the of planet Earth. I like that. Can scan Venus, so we just can't scan Mars and um just can't scan Mars and Earth. Is there there's no lunar, so we can no longer check out the we can no longer check out the moon. 340 people live on Mercury. They probably they probably like getting a tan. Nice. I'm assuming we can actually be full on resources, judging by the green the green bar. Oops, hang on. That exits the whole thing. 
So we need to fly back out to the mass relay. This is so sick. Okay. And I did say I want to go to Citadel first. So let us go to the Citadel. Ah, I see. You can buy probes. Doesn't tell you how much they cost. Okay, they just cost 100 credits. Oh, that's fine. They're cheap. God damn. How much does fuel cost? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, now I feel now I feel fine about scanning anywhere. That's that's great. Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Dock into the into the, the Citadel. Hey guys, Normandy's back. Bigger and better than ever. This is cool. I mean, yeah, I'm interested to see what's gonna what's gonna happen here. I'm interested to see if, uh, like, what type of what type of reactions we're gonna get. We dock it. Oh, only got two people. Cycle a pit. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Miranda's got a different. Let's go. This is to be expected. Instantly will attract some attention, huh? Oh no, that's us. <laughs> Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Pursue me. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Ah, uh, it's an advertisement with Kasumi. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Ah. Uh, well, we're wearing the recon hood, but this I'm still identifiable because it's a quest. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. The keeper in the background, though? Hmm? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Good. Acknowledging the... Uh, well, no. Actually, no. It's not. Alright, it's not. For a second, I was like... Oh, she's acknowledging the the recon hood but then i was like oh no she just probably literally doesn't know what we looked like before anyway i don't know if i'll continue wearing the recon hood when we go out i don't know it's an option i guess but um maybe it could open up some additional or like some interesting options if we if we take it off or maybe it doesn't mean anything and it's purely um an appearance choice but that's all right what brought you to cerberus that's a bit of a story short version they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Okay. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's grey box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's that? 
What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Mm, so that's what we'll be wearing that for. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer... The Keeper just looked at us. Really not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes... I always Oops. expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. Hello, there she is. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, <laughs> just that it was dangerous. Do I look at the screen or you? He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty good <laughs> standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Well, that was that was easy. Ooh, ooh. Was she even there to begin with, dude? An illusion within an illusion. Um, and I'll make to break neural recall simulator. Prioritize memory. I need a gray box, dude. When you can read so much faster than you can read out loud. Okay. Interesting. Any primary entries? No. So that was secondary. Cool. Alright, we have a recruitment. Um, what are these called again? These are called the Hanar, right? Pretty sure they're called the Hanar. Is that right? They in here at all? No. <laughs> hey, we got it. We got anyone in here? Yes, they are the Hanar. The. I hope we can, I hope we find some more Elcor. I like Elcor. Interesting that the the keeper looked at us before. I noticed that straight away. All right, we got Rapid Transit, CSEC Customs. <gasps> hey. Sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Um... Hey, you guys heard of a guy who used to work with you guys called Garrus? Pretty cool. Lovely fellow. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! 
Uh, galactic news. Where's that? Where's the galactic news thing? Something that. Oh, there it is. There we go. We made the galaxy salty because we sacrificed the council. Oops. Because we said, oh, can we please prioritize the sovereign? Because I think that's important. And what that means is. Oh, sorry. Uh, on the ascension. And the council. Dead. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferry. Oh, okay. Great. Glad I stuck through for that. The main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerate. Mm -hmm. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem <laughs> to think you're dead. <laughs> I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Oh, check this out. Okay. But you're not going to give me a zoom in function. That's fine. I will I will just I'll just figure it out myself. All right, we got shops, all the rapid transits, Dark Star Lounge. Okay. Cool. Avena. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here and we call it done? Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? I know, right? Everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. 
That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. <laughs> What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Screw the Council! Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. <laughs> you ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. The Elcor! There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. Interesting. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Okay, okay. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Okay. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Thanks, sir. Uh... Venus back, baby. Interrogation room, okay. Let's have a chat to Avena. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This wow. is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Uh. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. And... Maybe I should have just saved the council. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the council and wish a return to the status quo. I really do just gotta live with the decision and the choices you make, much like life. That's what that's what this is all about. You make a choice, and it might be a bad choice, it might be a good choice. You have to live with those consequences. That explains the tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? 
Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. Interesting. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Sounds like a police state to me. The result is improved safety for all residents. Be advised that your statement has been forwarded to Citadel. <laughs> if you are approached by uniformed <sighs> officers, please cooperate fully. Look at this, when it's just like... You wanna, wanna, wanna express an opinion? Please be advised that your statement has been afforded to Citadel Security. If you get picked up and taken into a room, please cooperate. I need to talk to the council. How can Public I reach transit shuttles are available on the far side of the C6 security core. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Taser reward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. But damn it. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Ow. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Thanks, Avena. Um, I am going to quickly... I'll save it here just in case something different happens. But I want to head back to the ship. Because I want to take... It's unfortunate that there's not an equipment menu. Like, I want to... You used to be able to do the whole helmet on, helmet off thing in Mass Effect 1. So I'm going to head back. I'm going to take this helmet off. Oh, check this out. So you can request a new squad member from this fast travel place. And then you can go to a whole bunch of different places. Nice. Uh, Normandy. It automatic it saves time. It automatically just takes you back out into space when you uh, when you pick it from fast travel. Interesting. Instead of just being on the ship and just being able to manually like sort of dock and undock. Now I just wanna I wanna adjust my equipment. Uh, I don't do the armor here, do I? Commander. Can I help you with something? We'll talk later. Commander. Um, I want to know... I want to... I want to check how we can do... Like, weapons, like the research stuff as well, with all of the... Stuff that we have. Maybe it has to do with, like, the tech labs. Uh, take me to my cabin, please. So I can make sure. Oh, this is still on. Love it. Okay. Um, armor. I'm going to take this off. We'll do no helmet. So we'll be wearing this when we go and do a, do a fancy heist. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. We're taking the hood off, so I can go back into the Normandy and I can actually talk to these people with my faces. Thank you. I don't know. I, pr I prefer that. If someone talks to me and goes, oh my god, you're Shepard, it's fine. I would rather that. Oh, and now we have Kasumi on our team as well. So there you go. Loyalty, normal, shadow strike, heavy pistols, and submachine guns. Nice. I'm going to maintain the same crew that I had, however, just to make it consistent with, with the visit. There we go. Just want to be able to look at people with my face. 
talk to people with my face. I always find it a little bit awkward that when you, um, when the HUD is disappeared and you're running around, you just have these two floating icons of the two people who are in your squad just chilling there at the bottom. <laughs> it's a little bit strange, but it's, but it's fine. I'll take it. Here at Cafe. I this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Ascension novel and a revelations novel. Written by human author uh, Drew uh, Carpetian. The popular military historical novel Ascension focused on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Um, I'm assuming this would be a codex entry. Would this be a codex entry? Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew um, Carption that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean Masarelia on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. They are codex entries. There you go. Publications. Check that out. Okay. You can buy publications. That's awesome. At a cafe, though. Bit strange. If that's the only thing you can purchase, but that's okay, we'll take it. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. While no formal statement has been issued, the Council has made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. Visit Dark Star, located on level 28. Okay. Just trying to like the, the Citadel is a big place, and I think it. I th I'm pretty sure it's just gotten even bigger than the first game. Are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun, but do you have the career skills to deploy and manage? Oh, that's creepy. That's so creepy. That's creepy. The advertisements identify you and then go, hey, what's up? I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No, c -Sec won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians, we should kill them all. They think we're dangerous. We should kill them. Citadel, Krogan Sushi. Kargresh, a Krogan on level 27 of the Zakara Ward uh, market, would like to taste fish from the lakes of the Presidium. These side quests are super interesting. Like, there's ones where it's like, oh, Dr. Chakwas wants some fucking brandy. Go get it. This random Krogan wants fish. Go do this nice thing for them. That's really in-depth. That you can just choose to, if you want, be the... Be a nice person to everybody. <laughs> Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Accuse her of classism. <laughs> Just walk into the store. Yeah. I accuse you. Want an endorsement? So we've got Paragon and Renegade options here, and I'm. I will focus. I will focus on choosing them. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about Rude. If I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. <laughs> I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Interesting. Hello? Citadel Souvenirs? You're my favorite pizza place. Space hamster? What the fuck? Oh, it's fish. Oh, you can buy some models. Let's buy some shit. I guess it goes onto the ship on onto my ship and is displayed somewhere. 
Ah, oh, this will go into my fucking quarters in my aquarium, dude. Yes. It's going to, I'm decorating my room. Nice. Specifically a space hamster. That's a souvenir that I'll take with me. <laughs> it's so funny. Starships, dreadnoughts, and frigates. So strange. Do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Dude, everything is so much more alive. The conversations are great. Um, the place is huge. Look how much better this, this looks. This is incredible. Like, I don't, it almost makes me not want to, like, fast travel to a place immediately. I just want to, like, have a browse, check it out. This is like the, this is like the, the slow introduction to the changes of Mass Effect 2 and, and what they've, uh, what they've added and changed. And I love it. Yes. Is this, uh, this is Darkstar? Rodam Expeditions. Ooh, okay. Upgrades, then. Increases ammo capacity. Different sniper rifles. A sentry interface. Shield strength and power damage. A visor. That's cool. Increases health by 5%. So these these upgrades are stuff that I'm like, yeah, I'll buy these. These are sixty thousand, so maybe not those. So you go to the cabin. I get it. Maybe I should have asked for a discount first. Excuse me. What? Look, I know our races aren't on the best of terms. You are kin slayers. Your admiral Hackett let the council die. There's nothing I can do about that. What I can do is stop the Geth from attacking again. You hunt Geth? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum, all over the Terminus. That's dangerous game. I don't like your kind, but I'll help the enemy of my enemy. I'll give you a discount, but I'll deny it if word gets around. Thank you. Just get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Okay, so it took he took 10,000 off of these. Okay, I see. I see the discount. It's not like massive, so I didn't just like spend this. This okay, it's good. I got a credit. I got a discount. Maybe a shotgun. I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. <laughs> Have you tried Galaxy? Game salesman. I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? Get two credits toward a new game. Yeah. Hi, welcome to EB Games. Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Oh, okay, so it pops up. You can talk to Jacob. Oh, so there's parts of the Citadel that you can talk to your people. It's been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Oh, optional, optional places where you can talk to your squad and offer their opinion. That's good. I like that. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh no, not the fucking camera. Like, look, last time I did an interview, it didn't go so well. Okay. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. I remember you. Very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You made me look bad. You, yeah. You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. I don't trust you. 
Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives. Oh, I saw that. Including the previous Citadel Council. Fucking, I knew this was going to be, I knew this was going to be the thing. All right, we're going to do the Paragon. We're going to do our options, but I feel like I'm probably going to, I might fail. I don't know if I'm bet I'm good enough to do this, but let's do it. It was time for us to find our own path. I was born on Earth, pulled myself out of the worst holes there were. That day we stood up, despite ourselves. But what about interspecies relations? We have a new council, new friends. We took a tragic vacuum and created an opportunity. Unless you're saying humanity and our many partner species don't deserve that chance to excel, don't insult them. It's beneath you. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> Take that. Piece of shit. I did much better this time than the first interview, God damn it. Okay, I think from here, um, we're able to again we can still do rapid transit, but there was also For ten credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. I love how how long you can hear them talking for, it's funny. Like god damn. Dude's just gotta make his commission. We'll remember to get him some Presidian fish. And go, okay, buddy. We'll get you your fish. We're gonna go this way now, because this goes this goes downstairs. So Dark Star level 28. I didn't see that though. Oh Dark Star Lounge is like all the way. Oh, I think we must have missed it. Hang on. I must have missed Dark Star Lounge. What are you looking at, Shepard? I'll have to make it another... Ah, used ship salesman. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Elcor! You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. I'm so hungry. Stop. I'd kill for ramen right now. Now available on video. The <laughs> it's so creepy. I hate it. This clanless is a thief. And I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah. I've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... She's doing like a, she's doing like a nervous body language stuff. She wants to, she'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but does she have the credits to do so? And would she need to pickpocket someone to get that money? A decent sized ship, even used, costs hundreds of thousands of credits. I know. It's crazy, right? But I still like to daydream when I look at the hollows. And I could do amazing things to the engines. I'd make them sing like birds. Okay. 
You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. I wouldn't say all of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That shit stayed in my pocket. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Just like the casual... Casual... Racism slash xenophobia, like, you know what Quarians are like? It's like, Jesus. Way to summarize the entire race. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Please move along. Let's go. Be careful out there. Find the credit chit. I just got a refill. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? I love playing sequels. I love it when there's like a, a sequel that immediately just takes everything about the first game and you just you just are witnessing it getting elevated in every sense of the word and it's and it's so good, especially when you really liked the first game and then just playing the sequel and just being like, holy shit, they're like they're taking it above and beyond. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Discount, please. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Um, is that gonna cause an issue with the other store? <laughs> or am I thinking too deep into this? She said exactly the same thing. It's just gonna, all over the Citadel, it's just gonna be Shepard's voice. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite pizza place, like, everywhere. For like, <laughs> ooh, Metagel capacity increased, and life support webbing. I'll take it. This is valuable. Nice. What do you think, Michael? Well, I like I like this shop better than the other one, so it's kind of honest. We can get whatever you like with it, Jake, Okay, so we got a shipping warehouse. Serta Foundation. Now, Serta Foundation. I'm Commander Shepard. The nerve enhancers <laughs> are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. I just, just gonna play the advertisement again? He's okay. all I have left of Jacob. I know. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. I know. Okay, I'm wondering if it'll play the ad again. Got interrupted. Um, Saren's applications. Barat. Welcome to Saren's applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. 
Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled, but I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just <laughs> speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I I am just like, we've got to keep doing it because I think it's fucking hilarious. And I just wonder if there's going to be some Citadel drama that will spare. I'll be like, hey, you fucking, you're a fake. You're a sellout. <laughs> Ooh, another visor. Recharge time for powers. Squad bonus to shields, barriers, and armor for 75k. I'm going to start running out of money. So I'm going to hold off for now. But uh, something I did notice, which I must have overlooked in the previous store, which I'll go back to, uh, is favorite customer. What can I get you? Asking about the credit chip. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. <laughs> so easy. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's do a quick resolution to this matter. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. Hey guys. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... <laughs> Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that C-Sec guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Wild. So you you need to really be keeping your eyes on the screen for those Paragon and Renegade actions, and then just jump in and make like that that split decision, uh, which is which is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick little break after walking through uh, the Citadel. Um, I hope we get to talk to an Elcor. Doesn't look like we've been able to, but we'll uh, I'll take a quick break um, and then we will continue exploring the Citadel. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. I guess they, uh, I guess they gave Avina a different, uh, a different voice as well. I'm pretty sure she sounds different to ME1. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Saranus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attached there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. What would the world be like if we had that technology, right? 
What would the world look like? I ponder. I ponder those thoughts, you know. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Thank you for using Avena. What can I get you? I want to talk to an Elcor, please, because I want it to ha say delighted greeting. Nice to see you, Shepard. But no. But no. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna push on through now that I've explored down here. Which I believe we, Yeah, we've checked that out, that's cool. Uh, I wanna go back to the main area because we didn't go to Dark Star Lounge. That's what we missed last time. Let's do a bit of back and forth. We'll go to Dark Star Lounge again. Let's try that once more. God. And then, after this, we will finally move onwards with the Presidium. There's just like so much, so much to take in. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see. All right, go up this level. This map, this map is kind of a little bit hard to read when you're like looking at the staircase and I wish that I, I wish that we could zoom in a little more and kind of like s scale it. It's, it's not the best map in the world. We've been in there. We've been there. Here we go. <laughs> Asari Hanar porn games. <laughs> Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destination. Nice. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Okay, no worries. Easy. Let's finally go check out Dark Star. Now, because I'm, you know, you guys have said that how much you love and enjoy me actually going in depth on all of the, the dialogue and how like the speaking and actually communicating with people is like the main enjoyment. Um, and how I choose to talk and get that information, all the stuff that's sort of like the main draw to like Mass Effect. And after playing through Mass Effect 1, I would entirely agree. Like it's like the actual gameplay loop of like shooting people and having like that combat stuff is more for like engagement and it's fun and I'm doing that stuff, but it's definitely not like the main uh, appeal for like watching and that's something I didn't know or really understand at the beginning of the Mass Effect playthrough because I was like I'm not sure what type of game this is going to be like to get into but now I really take that enjoyment from like sitting back and just being like oh my god let's get all the dialogue and then let's make decisions and form these relationships and it's like it's it's so much it's so much fun to just like run around and actually absorb and take everything in even though I accidentally run past spots on the map, I'm trying my best. Okay, so there's no more flux. There is only Dark Star. Oh, we can purchase brandy. <laughs> can I get a discount on the brandy, sir? Will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. Shepard. Full on. This is... It's green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Oh, it's Quentin Flynn. Nice. Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Am I getting knocked on my ass? Looking for a little R and R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. 
Yeah, Cora's den. Dancers. Dance? Yes. Let's go. Let me do it. Yes! <laughs> Just a quick step to step to each side. Bounce around. You gonna join me guys? They just gotta awkwardly, Jacob just awkwardly. Yeah, Jacob, get it! Move, Jacob! <laughs> get it, boy! He's got the moves! Alright, let me get this let me get this brandy. Purchase Ceres Ice Brandy. How much is it? Did it cost me any money? Or is it just because it's a quest, it doesn't necessarily cost me any credits? Interesting. Okay. I'm fine with that, I guess. I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind Where's the Restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese's gift shop. Ah, uh, but that's what I that's what I bought, and uh, that was going to go into my. That means I have to. I think I have to go back to my ship because it gets prepped for delivery or something when you buy stuff from there. I noticed you're one of the ground. Oops, I asked the wrong one. The only place I know of on the station. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. The Leia sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile. Tell Kagish the truth or purchase a fake fish from the gift shop. Well, we did purchase the fish. So you get both the brandy and the fish in the same place. Lovely. Shepard, why are you looking at the floor? Why are you, why are you looking at the floor? Stop looking at the floor. Should we do? Should we tell him the truth? Should we give him the cold, hard reality of life and say, look, mate, there is not more fish in the sea? We bought a fish, so let's let's talk. Lie. I have a Presidium what fish. Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry, you're so squishy. <laughs> you're supposed to get a decent grip. Okay, so didn't mean to bother you. Don't let it happen again. At the beginning, weak in front of humans. They assassinated the council. That takes a quad. Didn't assassinate them, okay? Um, what's very interesting? Um, what's very interesting about it is um. I don't know, I have some thoughts. But at the beginning of the Mass Effect playthrough, I was like, all I know about uh, Mass Effect, apparently, is that everyone's horny. And I didn't really get that a lot in Mass Effect 1, but I'm getting it a lot more in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Just like right off the bat. I'm like, okay, I'm getting I'm getting the vibe that just people People are a little bit, you know, people just a little bit, a little bit horny, you know, a little bit horny. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the gift shop is the souvenirs and we already bought the, the fish. I think that means we must have to go back to uh, the ship Welcome to Citadel and then we can Welcome give them a fish. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Welcome back. These stores are owned by the That's Citadel, right? We offer an assortment of Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Thank you. What do you want? What do you reckon? Should we just lie? Because we bought the we bought a fish, so I want to see if this is like 
the fish that we bought, whether we have to, whether we have to go back to the ship or not. I ever heard you talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Aren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. It's just a damn fish. Guns are better than fish. Okay. I got a thousand, ooh, I got a thousand credits and we got some renegade points, but look, we had, we had some fun, okay? I spent more money on to buy that fish. I could have had that fish in my aquarium. Was that worth a thousand credits? For some renegade points. I want that fish in my, I want that fish in my aquarium. This is why I save before making big, important choices, right? Like choices that can change the course of the entire storyline going forward. This is why I make those big save decisions, because then if you give a random Krogan a fish and you lie to him, who knows? Who knows what impact that's going to have on your future, guys? Always save before a massive life-changing decision, okay? What do you want? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all these talking Stop all the battle day. day. And now I get the fish for my set. You get a thousand credits anyway, what the fuck? The only, the only difference... The only difference... Is you get Paragon or Renegade points, god damn it. Alright. Um, I will stick with keeping the fish for myself. Uh, something I'm really curious to do more, and I don't know if I should, but it may, I'm kind of tempted, is to, before having dialogue options, to, like, save beforehand and then take it a different way to see the different dialogue choices. Especially in big, important moments like that, you know, when you need to give someone a fish. So I'm not sure. I might do that. I might not do that. We'll just have to see how we go. But... Uh, we got the brandy, so give that to Dr. Chakwas. Um, I also have done what I needed to do at the Citadel, I believe. I need to go and sp to go to the Presidium to speak to Anderson, though. So we'll also do that. Well, they were never supportive before. Maybe worth contacting the council and informing them of recent events. So... Let's go to the Presidium. Wow. It's been a while, huh? Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Aye. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Stand by my decision. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Um, like, I didn't really have a choice there, man. And also, man, I'm like, I've got enough people, I've got enough people in YouTube comments giving me crap about the, the, the council. Now I got Anderson. <laughs> Look, Anderson, I put you on the council, man. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems, and I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. 
They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow it. Oh, we both it. know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. God damn it! It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up, but I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. It's a relic I don't need. Nah, give it, give it, give it back to me. Give it back to me. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. <laughs> and more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. And oh. we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Dina's back, boy. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Dina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. For, for for your information, if you are asking me if I regret my choices, at the end of Mass Effect 1, maybe, a little bit, teeny tiny bit, I feel like it would have been beneficial uh, for the council to have been saved, despite how they are as a council. Um, and it maybe might have been the better option to put the experienced politician on the council anyway. But we live with our decisions so we face the consequences, you know? Acceptance. There is regret, but we must remove on. Because <laughs> it makes the story interesting. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete, but estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. Yeah. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources, but we'd never get done without them. Interesting. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. 
I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. <laughs> Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Interesting. Caden is on a special mission. I wonder if he's a Spectre. Maybe we can use our Spectre status to get some get some stuff. Caden's on a classified mission, huh? I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. So many, so many interesting dynamics at play now with like how everything has gone over the past two years, which is what I've said before, but it's just like, it's so good. Very interesting as well. Um, and being resurrected by, where did my teammates go? What the? What the? <laughs> now they're over there. They were there before. I was like, did you just like teleport? What the hell? Um, being resurrected by Cerberus is like such a main reason why all of this feels so like interesting. When you like have these old relationships that you need to sort of check out, check in with again. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Ah. Uh... An initial surge in patriotic enlistments was... We can no longer... Okay. The public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. We can no longer go and check out this place. Interesting. Everybody's able to walk around. So we... the When you go to the, the Presidium, it's only this room. And then we can only check out... Level 26 to 28. And then there's also the Factory District. Interesting. Citadel got shrunk a little bit no low awards no um old presidium area no elcor to talk to rip that's a shame well we recruited lady as soon as we got here ran around aimlessly but not really did did some of our little side quests Kept a fish from my aquarium. Now we'll give uh, Doctor Chakwas her um, her brandy. Commander, you've received a new message at your private <sighs> terminal. Have I? Thank you again from Samesh Bhatia, Commander Shepard. Mister Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. Whoa. Well, nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nerali, being able to, s to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nerali's picture hangs on the wall and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage which both of you, my wife, have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatia. Dude, such a quick and easy assignment that we did uh, for this dude last, last game and now that he hears that we're back up and running again, like expresses like that gratitude. That's, that's touching. That's a, that's incredible. Um, carrying on those, those storylines. How may I help you commander? Got your drink lady. I have a present for you, doc. Sarah's ice brandy. You didn't. Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Yeah, let's do it. You crack open the bottle. 
I'll get the glasses. I'm running on I'm running on my green my green alcohol drink. And now this display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome. <laughs> oh Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No. Not lacking friendship, just stability. Jeff, the Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Interesting. It talks to Joker, to friends, to the Alliance, to the Fallen. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> That's great. That's really nice. Just more more characterization for Chakwa. I must recruit a head scientist for an upgrade. Oh, 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 oh. Oop. Hang on a minute. Oh. <laughs> she's fucking. She's gone. And I I can't walk, dude. Quick, access to the air bring it to or is restricted. Interesting. Nice. I like that. All right, so we resolved that assignment. Gave our lovely, lovely old doctor a bit of brandy. Oh, let's go up to my. Uh, let's go up What's to my this thing. Area of the ship? Let's go into my place. Do I have a fish now? I got a fire. I got, f I got multiple fish, dude. Oh, you can feed them. Where's my hamster? Have I got a hamster? I got a fucking space hamster, dude! <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, oh, I can use the toilet. Great. Good stuff. Ooh. Nice. I got a fucking space hamster. Squeak! That's great! <laughs> cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect 2. So great to just like uh, get up to speed once again, get the information that we need, uh, and uh, checking out the, the, the Citadel. So now that we've uh, done the Citadel, we've recruited one of our companions. Uh, next episode, hopefully we'll move um, a little bit, uh, a little bit faster as we don't just like take in our environment and, and enjoy it so much. We will enjoy ourselves, but recruiting multiple people along the way. Uh, we will start off with getting Dr. Morden Solus next time, but I will also enjoy, um, I'll also enjoy sending out those probes into the galaxy so we can get some, uh, so we can get some, uh, lovely, um, lovely supply of upgradable, um, materials and stuff. That music was getting so loud it threw off my train of thought. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect 2, guys, and I will see you next time.